Hey everyone, just wanted to say hello and welcome to CS161B. I'm your instructor. My name is Gayatri Iyer or GD Iyer. You can find more information about me in the D12 shell and I will give you a quick course tour in about a minute or so. I just wanted to let you know who is actually behind the course in this online uh, class. And also to let you know that I'm available on Zoom on, and in the Sylvania campus. Anytime you want to come by, send me an email. If you have uh, courses that you're taking there, let me know what days you're available. And we can meet either in the CC building, in the cafeteria, or in a TCB in the tutoring center, or we'll find a classroom, wherever. But I'm available in Sylvania most days during the term. So just shoot me an email. And here is the course tour. Okay, a quick course tour. Um, so this is your content page under course information. We are going to take, you won't see any of these, by the way, until you do the course information quiz. Okay, the course information quiz is all about the syllabus and the schedule and what's happening in this course. So let's take a look at the syllabus <clears throat> and uh, gives you some information about the course. Um, I'm gonna highlight a couple of things. I'll let you read the rest of it on your own time, office hours. Uh, I have a Google Sheet that you can use to schedule time with me. Okay, now here, let me go and open that in a different window. So we're not looking at it in the same window. Okay, so here's how you schedule time to meet with me. Now you can meet with me for several reasons, but in the first couple of weeks, I would really like to just meet with you and say hello and see who it is that, you know, who's, who's in my class, um, what are your interests, just to have a chat with you. Um, in the past, many students have, you know, many students meet with me. There have always been a few who feel like they have to meet with me only if they need help. That's really not it. I'd like you to just meet with me so we know who we are, you know, meet with each other. So um, it tells you where to put the, put your names down. I have time starting with, um, actually I'm gonna start at 10, some meetings going on. So put your name in any of the slots that you want. Notice at the bottom, you have multiple weeks. Here's the tricky part. Make sure you pick the right week. So starting with week one, in, during week one, schedule a time, anytime you want. If I have other things going on, I'll block it off, okay? So you can schedule time with me for office hours this way through the rest of the weeks. If you have any questions, it doesn't matter, whatever it is. And it gives you one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one time with me to talk about, um, you know, just like I said, an intro meeting, just to know you. And then if you have any questions, so that's really what this spreadsheet is about. Anytime you want to chat with me and it goes all the way through the end of the term. Okay. All right, so that's one thing that I wanna show. Um, and then here's the book information. Please get your book by going to this website and subscribing for the book. Something about, uh, for transfer students, if you're going to PSU, you really should read this requirement and try to do things on the server. And we have lots of links that will help you with that. Lots of videos through the course. We'll talk more about that. Here is another thing that I want to highlight, the workload chart. It's very important you know how many hours really this course takes, okay? So six contact hours are if you have classroom classes. If not, I do some Zoom lectures because this is an online class. We don't have six contact hours. But again, out of the class, you should plan to spend 10 to 12 hours at least programming for per week. So for functions for the first week, you must spend at least this amount of time, okay? So if you run into any trouble, that's where this comes in. You can schedule time with me and we can talk about things. So please go through this, understand what this really means. Is we really need to be spending time programming. Otherwise, this class is going to get very hard very soon. Uh, assignments have due dates, things that you really should read. They are really due by the due date. You have one grace, one week grace period. After that, the Dropbox is, you know, you get a zero for it. Now, you do have uh, two submission options. So take a look at it, read through some of these important things. Um, discussions, there are graded discussions. The discussions also have certain due dates. Uh, the first four discussions are due by midterm. The second four discussions are due by the final week. So just keep an eye on the deadlines. And if you have any questions, please email me. Okay, so that's all about that. There is some late work policy. Please read through all of these things. 
make sure you know you can submit assignments up to two times that's it okay and then after that you can but you must have the first submissions done in order for you to be able to resubmit so read through now if you always you know anytime you have issues please email me and we can always talk about things um, but just not participating and not submitting is not going to get you um, far in the class it goes downhill pretty soon so make sure you are aware of that uh, here's the course schedule we have what we're going to cover each week there are some preliminary information the course opens one week before so don't feel compelled to do things but the extra time really really helps um, here are some times for the midterm and the final. If these times don't work, please do email me. Um, I also want to highlight, if you go back to course information, a couple of other things that you can quickly look at is um, the grading rubric and the style guide. Important things that you should keep an eye on through the course, but if you do it for a couple of weeks, you'll get used to it. So this talks about where, how you get points how you lose points so make sure before you submit your assignment you please go through this rule break and make sure you understand it okay and i will talk more about this in a video in the first week um, also the style guide you should go through this coding guidelines what can you do what can you not do important things like cannot use while true loops you may not use any breaks so we'll talk more about this in the first week but i strongly encourage you to go through some of these documents and they are all under the first week module well, again, welcome to the class and I will see you sometime very soon.